breakfast, it's gonna be one full serving of oatmeal, one egg white, and 10 grams of protein powder. And then, this stuff, um, which is the best stuff ever. This stuff is edible cookie dough. Macros are 128 calories, eight grams of fat, six grams of carbs, eight grams of protein. And, oh, it's like stuck to the top. But it's basically cookie dough. And we're just gonna take 32 grams of it. 30. Very true. So this is going to be breakfast. I have two of these tracked for the day. And I have not yet tried them. Very, very kind girl named Sabrina sent me them for my birthday. She is super sweet and I've been talking to her via Snapchat for a while and Twitter and stuff and like one of those social media people that you know their social media handle but you just never met them in person. Hopefully I'll meet you in person one day, but she sent me the chocolate chip Oreos or limited edition. I have not seen them anywhere and I'm very excited to try them. So we're gonna do that now. All right, we're gonna try it guys. That's really, really good. I don't think I like it better than the cinnamon bun, but it's incredibly good. I'm really glad that I have these. Yep. All right, I have one more track for later, so I might just do the cinnamon bun instead. And there's the waffle, by the way. I'm also eating this. Today is my high carb day, which is very necessary. Every single time the high carb day comes around at this point, it's very necessary, so my body feels like it needs it every single time. I did match my lowest weigh-in this morning, 114.8. This is the third time this week I've seen 114.8, which is really, really, really not normal for me to hit low weigh-ins. Um, every single time I hit a low weigh-in, usually like it kind of goes back up and like rides right above it for a little while, but this week it's actually still continuing to uh, to work. So today is not my best look so far. I definitely feel like I've looked tighter a few days ago, but I did just come back from traveling. I probably haven't been eating enough water. Eating enough water! I probably haven't been eating enough water. Um, one of the side effects of low calorie or uh, prep, anything like that, a little bit of brain fog. A little bit of brain fog, so not bad. And my coach increased my cardio to five times a week, so Sorry, not five times a week. Every single low carb day. So you guys know I do three low, one high cycle. So on all my low carb days, I am doing cardio. High carb days, I am not doing cardio because the point of high carb days is to get your calorie levels back up to a maintenance-ish level. And then adding an extra cardio might be putting you into a deficit and kind of like counteracting the whole point of it. So I'm gonna head to PT now. We're gonna do some work on the wrist with Christina. I'll show you guys what else we do. So catch you guys there. like this I kind of struggle to get my uh, camera up and set up and everything like that so I'm gonna do my best but I will show you guys what I'm doing right now it's super crowded how many people
y'all successfully filmed my lift. Every single time I say that they're gonna catch me, uh, they never do. Mid set, I decided to check my email like a dumbass, and I got my macro update from my coach because I sent him check-in photos this morning. So you guys know that I've been on a three low, one high carb cycle for quite some time now, and we just changed it to four low and one high, so it'll be four low carb days in a row and then one high carb day. So I just have to mentally wrap my mind around that and pretend that it's okay. I talked about this way back, probably when I was like 12 weeks out or so. Um, I talked about how to deal with a macro decrease from your coach, how to deal with decreasing your macros without it um, affecting your mindset, without it affecting your um, the way you live your day-to-day -day life. So definitely for a minute, I remembered how bad I felt last night and I was like, oh, okay, I have to push through another day. Um, next week, this upcoming week, I have to push through another day of feeling like that. But if I think that way, it's gonna be even worse than if I thought it's not gonna be bad at all. It's just like an extra day. Um, if I just like change the way that I think about it, it's not gonna be as bad and it's easier said than done, obviously. Everything when it comes to dieting is way easier said than done, especially when you've been in a deep deficit. But, um, but like mentally, I just gotta do what I gotta do. So I'm showing you guys the deeper parts of prep now. I talked about this a while back and they're here, I'm feeling it. But yeah, if you have that mindset where you're not gonna let anything get in your way, not your mind, not your body, um, everything is down to the wire now. I have less than five weeks to get on stage and I really wanna come in my absolute best. I wanna give my prep 110%. Regardless of whether or not my mind is thinking like there's so much more to life than prep, <laughs> like there absolutely is and I'm really excited for my off season but I've committed to doing a prep. Um, this is where you kind of like change your mindset into thinking that like shit this sucks, why am I doing this? Um, but then once you get on stage and you've accomplished what you've set out to do, completed what you've committed to it's just such a rewarding feeling and um i just have to like keep staying motivated and you guys really helped motivate me so comment below if you're a motivational speaker and you want to send me some love because i would have totally appreciated it at this point my face is getting thinner <laughs> shoulders getting more shredded i feel super shredded this morning so i'm excited ready to go ready to go Motivational speech, my fucking ass. I just want to sleep and eat everything. I'm hungry. Someone bring me a pizza. Don't tell my coach. Say hi, Karen. Oh my god. This is my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I don't always look like this. this. is real life. It's raw. It's okay. I look like cr crap on my YouTube all the time. Oh my god. Your bed looks so nice. My box spring is being delivered today. I'm really excited. Um, this is like literally the most comfortable bed and pillows. My pillows are for they're like special pillows. So when I went and bought Where did you get them? When I bought the, when I bought my bed at Ashley Furniture, the guy was like trying to sell me so hard on the mattress and I was like falling in love with the pillows and I was like, sir, I get it. I want the mattress. Sir, but sir, I, I'll take the mattress but I also <laughs> really want the pillows. I'm like how much for the pillows? Yeah. Yes, Were they like, expensive? Oh those are nice. Um but the okay, bed uh, well, I'm just comparing like the bed that I slept in at the Vancouver hotel this weekend was like Super comfy. I don't like I was sad to leave that hotel. Oh it was like God. the comfiest pillow ever. Anyway, anyways, my YouTube channel has not met my new roommate yet So <laughs> say hi to Karen and she has a YouTube channel as well And we're just here unpacking so as yes. soon as we're done unpacking we'll do an apartment tour So that's not yet <laughs> All right, guys, it's the middle of the day. I'm like sitting in my robe working there has, go ahead Karen, <laughs> there's been a box on, wow I look terrible, let me try to, this isn't going to get fixed, anyway, there's been a box sitting on top of our mailbox for like a few days and I haven't checked to see if it was mine yet because I was just like it's really high up and I didn't want to grab it, um, apparently it was mine and I will show you guys what is in it, first of all it's for my client Courtney, it says happy birthday Amanda, I hope you have an amazing birthday, I wanted to get you something that you would be able to enjoy while on prep, Thank you for all you've done and continue to do and help to help and inspire me. Love you, Courtney. And today's Amazon Prime Day and I was about to order this exact thing off of Amazon. I wanna like take the bubble wrap off. Come on, bubble wrap. Very 
some knife over there? Oh, yay. Yay. Hold on camera. Hysterical. Case of monsters. <laughs> White monsters. Thank you, Courtney. <laughs> well. So for the next meal, I'm making a one carb waffle. We did PE science, snickerdoodle, protein, or gourmet vanilla. And then normally I'll use a whole egg, but it's low carb day, so that means my fats are a little bit lower. So I'm doing an egg white instead. And then we're gonna throw it in the waffle maker there. And sometimes we have to add a little bit of water just for better consistency, like so. And it should look like that. Be careful to not add too much water though. And since I'm so hungry, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat my next meal now. Kind of this. <laughs> And then uh, later on today I have a big salad, so I'm going to do that. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I did not end up filming the rest of what I ate, but I basically had the same salad that I have every single day that includes my shredded lettuce, my spinach, my banana peppers, Icon Meals ground turkey, and then I also ended my evening with a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch, I lied, not cinnamon toast crunch, a bowl of frosted flakes and a half a scoop of protein over it and it was absolutely delicious. Tomorrow is gonna be a fun day because my best friend Marie Wald is coming to visit and I haven't seen her in like a solid month and it's been, it's been a long time. Picking her up in the morning and then we have a fun day planned so I will show you guys that tomorrow and give the video a thumbs up before you head out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys as always.